What is ERC-20 and what does it mean for Ethereum? The popular cryptocurrency and blockchain system Ethereum is based on the use of tokens, which can be bought, sold, or traded. Ethereum was launched in 2015, and since then, it has become one of the driving forces behind the popularity of cryptocurrency. In the Ethereum system, tokens represent a diverse range of digital assets, such as vouchers, IOUs, or even real-world tangible objects. Essentially, Ethereum tokens are smart contracts that make use of the Ethereum blockchain. So in this video, we will discuss what is ERC-20 and what does it mean for Ethereum. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. What is ERC-20? One of the most significant Ethereum tokens is known as ERC-20. ERC-20 has emerged as the technical standard. It is used for all smart contracts in the Ethereum blockchain for token implementation and provides a list of rules that all Ethereum-based tokens must follow. ERC-20 is similar, in some respects, to Bitcoin, Litecoin, and any other cryptocurrency. ERC-20 tokens are blockchain-based assets that have value and can be sent and received. The primary difference is that instead of running on their own blockchain, ERC-20 tokens are issued on the Ethereum network. ERC-20 defines a common list of rules. As of October 2019, more than 200,000 ERC-20 compatible tokens exist on Ethereum's main network. The ERC-20 commands vital importance. It defines a common list of rules that all Ethereum tokens must adhere to. Some of these rules include how the tokens can be transferred, how transactions are approved, how users can access data about a token, and the total supply of tokens. Consequently, this particular token empowers developers of all times to accurately predict how new tokens will function within the larger Ethereum system. This simplifies the tasks set forth for developers. They can proceed with their work knowing that each and every new project won't need to be redone every time a new token is released, as long as the token follows the rules. This compliance is also necessary. It ensures compatibility between the many different tokens issued on Ethereum. Fortunately, the vast majority of token developers have fallen in line with ERC-20 rules, meaning that most of the tokens released through Ethereum initial coin offerings are ERC-20 compliant. Plenty of well-known digital currencies use the ERC-20 standard, including Maker, MKR, Basic Attention Token, BAT, Augur, REP, and Omizgo, OMG. If you are planning on purchasing any digital currency that's issued as an ERC-20 token, you must also have a wallet that is compatible with these tokens. Luckily, because ERC-20 tokens are so popular, there are many different options for wallets. ERC-20 specifies six different functions. ERC-20 defines six different functions for the benefit of other tokens within the Ethereum system. These are generally basic functionality issues, including the method in which tokens are transferred and how users can access data regarding a particular token. Taken together, this set of functions and signals ensures that Ethereum tokens of different types will all uniformly perform in any place within the Ethereum system. As such, nearly all of the digital wallets which support the Ether currency also support ERC-20 compliant tokens. But because the ERC-20 standard remains relatively nascent, there will likely be bugs that need to be ironed out. To set an example of one such past glitch, Ethereum tokens sent directly to a smart contract used to lose money because an error in the protocol meant that a token's contract could not respond to an attempt to make a direct transfer, resulting in the loss of the money associated with that transfer. The Correlation to HTTP Protocol ERC-20 is neither software, a solution, or code. It is a standard protocol just like HTTP. It governs the tokenization and ensures that the technical specifications of the token is met. If a token doesn't meet standardization, it won't be called ERC-20 token. If it does, it can be termed as ERC-20 token. To ensure that it works as intended, it contains basic functions. If the essential features are not implemented, they will not pass the standardized test. This will mean that it cannot be traded or listed on exchanges as well. All the tokens that are created don't need to have their blockchain. They can thrive on the Ethereum blockchain, and this is what makes ERC-20 so promising and useful. ERC-20 Standard Rules If any smart contract wants to use the ERC-20 token, then it needs to follow some rules or ERC-20 standards accordingly. In other cases, if you don't follow the rules, then it won't be suitable to call it an ERC-20 token. At present, there is a total of nine rules, where six rules are mandatory, and the other three are optional rules. Therefore, for an ERC-20 contract, you need to follow at least six mandatory rules. Let's see what these are. 
mandatory rules or standards. Allowance, approve, transfer from, transfer, balance of, total supply. Optional rules or standards. Token name, decimal, max 18, symbol. The optional standards. Let's start with the optional standards. Usually, when you create your very own ERC-20 token list, you'll see that it's quite important to have a name or identity associated with that token. However, it's not necessary for you to name them. Still, associating identity with any token is great for using it within a community. So, this is where token name rules come into play. Next, we have divisibility. In reality, it's actually quite important, as it will ensure the lowest value for your token. If the divisibility is zero, then it will mean one. If it's two, then the lowest value will be 0.01. Here, you are allowed to go up to 18 decimal places. So, in times of tokenization, you need to remember this attribute for it. Lastly, we have the symbol. Well, it's mostly for creating a brand value using catchy symbols. For example, Dogecoin has the symbol Doge, but mostly, it's popular with Dogecoin. So you see, you may not always need a symbol for your coin. The mandatory standards. Total supply. Well, the total supply mainly outlines the overall number of ERC tokens you want to create. In order to create a token, you first have to determine the total amount of supply of this token. By no chance can you just make up your own token on the go, because that will significantly affect the value of these tokens. Approve. The approve function helps to get rid of any counterfeiting of tokens. Here, once the contract owner checks the balance, he or she can approve the contract to collect the money. This approve function will also check whether the number is correct compared to the total supply of tokens, so that it's impossible to even counterfeit tokens. If this function finds any discriminants within the numbers, then it will discard the payment and the smart contract. Balance of. This function is specifically for returning the total number of tokens any address has. In reality, it acts as user info, so if you have initially created some token and sent it to other addresses, you can use this to check how many tokens you have left. Transfer from. This transfer function is basically for automating certain transactions. For example, maybe you have to pay someone every month the same amount or pay rent and bills. Therefore, you can use transfer from to automate these payments at a certain date and time. Transfer. The next function is transfer. After checking whether the user has enough token to transfer, the owner can use this function to send the tokens to another address. More so, this acts like a typical crypto transaction in other blockchain platforms. Allowance. The allowance function is the most important one. In reality, when the contract wants to carry out a transaction, it needs to see the balance of the Ethereum smart contract to understand whether the user has the minimum balance for that. Using the allowance function, the contract can carry out the transaction or even cancel it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.